Hi, welcome back. We're playing Night in the Woods again today. Oh, I forgot about all my goodies we got last time in the tunnel. Let's play some bass. I mean, it sounds fun. Oh, sorry, I forgot to read the dialogue. Punched up the lyrics a bit with Greg back in high school. Let's see if I can remember all the words. Hi, so this was by far the worst bass playing I've ever done in this game to the point where it was actually painful to watch. So I decided to spare you. You get to see a few bits just to give you an idea, but you really do not need to see the whole thing. You're welcome. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. I <laughs> fucking give up. I just, I don't know where, what the fuck is happening? It's, it's over, it's over. I'm done. I don't know if I can get an achievement for just being really bad at base. <laughs> That's some dialogue I never got. I don't even know how to play this song. Why am I doing this? I I don't have words for this. I'm embarrassed and um, shocked. Morning at the pickaxe if you're in town center today. I don't even know why I'm saying this. You're in town center every day. Anyway, see you later. Hey dude, uh, the old snarkin. Come save me from boredom supreme. Sincerely, Gregory. Oh, a message. Planets are to be pitied as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Mother. <laughs> Why do you look so upset? Honey, you okay? Ugh, mornings are tough right now. Are you pregnant? No! Oh, honey, is that why you came home? No, not at all. Sweetie, you can tell me, I've been there. <laughs> Despite nature's intentions, God came through and blessed us with you. You were a miracle, baby. That's me, a miracle. After all the mis miscarriages, we'd given up hope. And then there you were. And here I am now. So if you're pregnant, I'm not pregnant. I was not in a situation where pregnancy happens. Okay, okay. I just want you to know that you can always come to us with this. Okay, noted. Can we talk about anything else? Sure. <laughs> the, <laughs> the eyes. <laughs> you know, if you did have a baby. Okay, I'm out. <laughs> okay, sweetie. I'm sorry, I get excited about ground babies. Even out of wedlock? You work in a church. It's fine. I'll be back later. Love you. Love you too. Hey, May. You all right? Yeah, I guess. Why? You look like you went through the dryer <laughs> on the wrong setting. <laughs> She's just small. Long week is all. You want to hear a poem? Cheer you up? Yeah. Life goes on. It feels so long. But I report, life is too short. Here's another happy one. Life is great. 
but life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs in the backyard. Thank you, Summers. They cheer you up? They did. Yay! I love her, she's so cute. I think today is constellation day. Hello. May. Mr. Chatterkoff. You look a bit worse for wear today, May. Oh, I'm fine. I made it up here, didn't I? Watch yourself, lest you fall. Will do. Here to see some stars? Yeah. Come have a look. I've been listening to a playlist I made with just video game music that I like at work because I can't listen to music with lyrics while working because I get distracted. And this is one of my favorite tracks from this game. So <laughs> as soon as it came on, I was like, I should be doing work right now. I should not. It's 10 to 9 on a Sunday night. Bonk. Ooh. I think I got one. Let us see. Cold Mountaineer. Cole. I knew a guy named Cole once, but that's close. It is. So what's up with this guy? Cole was from a flatland. This Midwest? Whatever the Midwest of wherever he was from was. Every place has a Midwest. This is true. He dreamed of mountains and devoted his life to climbing them. Because his hometown was flat? Isn't this a common instinct? To seek that which is unlike where one grows up? Yeah. I mean, people go to the city a lot. Like, they move there because it's got stuff, and there's more people like them, maybe. Sucks, though. Not everyone can just up and leave. When I left my country, I felt the same thing. But I have not regretted it. That hit home. <laughs> you like Possum Springs? It is beautiful in ways perhaps invisible to those who have seen it every day of their lives. Again. Been there. So what happened to Cole? He returned home and complained that the sky felt heavy. He had been up into the clouds and now they rested hard upon him. That's a really specific complaint. When one leaves a place, one brings something back when one returns. One, one. Gotcha. Ooh, which one is this? Adina Astra. You know this one? Yes, I know this one. It's a common story. How Adina journeyed to the frozen lake. How she traversed unknown faraway lands. I was very into Adina's stories when I was a kid. So you must know what became of her? Yeah. How she, in her quest, turned her back on the sky. And journeyed down into the earth where her stars were no longer over her head and how she was never seen again. Yeah, whatever. Is that not a sad ending? No, disappearing isn't the same as dying. She probably went somewhere else completely and did all kinds of cool shit. Oh my. Yeah, so whatever. Oof, that's all for the day. That was nice. Pretty sweet, the stars I mean. I am in agreement. <laughs> I love them.
Oh shit, I want to go see if the lady is in the sewers. <laughs> you know? So like, are you always together? Yeah, I guess. That's cool. Friends are cool. Safer. Safer? Yeah, like the buddy system. Safety in numbers. You're a little paranoid, you know that. <laughs> I love that I just imagine them having this like British accent. You're a little paranoid, you know that. Kid, you don't even know. Anyone hear anything about anyone around here missing? Um, yeah, actually. There's some girl I know online. She hasn't been on since Harfest. Okay, well, I think we might need a bit more than that. Okay. Is she from here? I could ask my aunt. Some place called Molve. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Molve? 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 You know someone from Molve? Yeah. Do you know where Mulvey is? Do you know what Mulvey is? No. I heard about Mulvey. My dad drives a bread truck. Mulvey used to be one of his stops. What happened? He don't stop there no more. They had to pay some other guy to do it. Sounds about right. What's Mulvey? I'll take you out there this weekend. Don't. It'll be fine, we'll just drive through. I need to go get back in the sun now. I always forget that kids in the States can just like straight up drive. Duder. Hey. How are you holding up? Surviving. Had the weirdest dream last night. Oh yeah, she made God, didn't she? Really? <laughs> I met God. Jeez. They were kind of an asshole. You know shit. Huh. Yeah, that's how my week is going. Can I offer you a complimentary slushy? To replace the idea of a caring god? I can throw in some chips. Oh, well, if there's chips in there, then definitely. I'm good. So what's up? Just checking in. You have checked in officially. I check thee. I shall go hang out with our goth queen. If anyone wants to see me do a, like, Greg run, let me know. I just, I wanted to see what would happen. my boy hey May. hey dude totally what's up nothing you okay yep okay sorry don't mind me what's wrong
Wait. Hey. Hello. I'm May. Hello, May. I'm Salim. Are you a busker? Are you busking? What's busking? I don't know. I think it's when you play outside and people give you money. Are you going to give me money? No. Then I'm not busking. Cool. So it's not the same guy as in her dreams. I was wondering if her, like, dream musicians had somehow, like, bled into her reality, which would be quite worrying. So I'm glad. Is it? Oh my god, you could actually hear what he was playing. That's really sweet. Hey kid, what you up to? Hey adult, nothing. Sounds good. Was gonna go down to the tracks. Did you wanna come? Yeah! Go, good, good, good. Let's go. Totally let's. Why are you so weird, mate? My friend Casey used to come out here and smoke. I used to smoke when I was younger. Oh, really? Okay, it was once. I was younger, though. I was 12. Good age to quit. I could vape. You could vape. I'm not going to vape. Probably a good idea. Um, so do you remember the thing we squished on the tracks last time? Uh, yeah. What are we doing? Going to make it flatter? Kinda, but no. You'll see. I'm going to pick a new thing to squish him with. Alright then. You know what we don't have around here? A taco place. Serial killers. Oh yeah. Hmm. I mean, I'd vote for us getting a taco place first, but... <laughs> yeah, we... <n> <laughs> Yeah, we never got around to getting our own serial killer. <laughs> you ever think about murdering someone? Like, okay, so, a few longest nights ago, I went to Bright Harbor with my aunt and cousin. And we went on the subway, and like, there's no railing down there above the tracks. And I had this sudden urge to like, shove someone off of it. It was weird and I felt guilty about it for a long time. Baby, that's an intrusive thought. Like, I didn't actually do it, so, I mean, is that normal? I think that's pretty normal. I guess you actually did try to kill someone. That was different. How? That was, like, not planned. And I, was trying to and I wasn't trying to kill him. It was just a thing that happened. So, yeah. It wasn't, like, my first step on the way to serial killer dumb. Sorry. I love that May also takes her feet off the track even though the train isn't going over there. It's like she's just doing it in solidarity. <laughs> It's cool. You know what I like? Tacos. Pictures of the meteor that killed the dinosaurs. Where the dinosaurs are watching it in the sky. Oh yeah. That's like every single picture of that meteor. Weird. Wonder if they knew. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what we got. Yay! Oh god, your little dudes are... It like hurts my soul. It speaks. The art speaks, May. It calls my name. Uh, that was cool. Yeah, it was. I gotta get going. Things are like hectic right now. Oh, what's up? Um, uh, jeez. Just like, be careful, okay? How so? Like, go home at dark. There's some bad stuff going on. Like what? Oh god, I don't even know where to start. Just like, 
be careful. All right. Thanks for the warning about whatever you're warning me about. Don't mention it. Laters. Ah! Fuck my life. Oh, you... You... Son of a bitch. Oh my god, are those oh my god, those are my babies. I didn't realise those are my children and I raised myself like a single mum who works two jobs. I still can't pet the cat. Hmm. Used to sometimes see other people up here. Is this not a thing anymore? Am I just old and out of touch? Whatever. It's awesome. I'm going to put up a tent and camp out here. We'll definitely roll off and die. fall to my death game friend hey B hey you're right you seem down oh uh, it's nothing stuff you want to talk about it nah okay Oof. what are you up to today Whatever you want to do. Proximity. Yes, it's the party. Um, a Jackie party? What's a Jackie party? You remember Jackie? Yeah, she hates me. Oh, that was years ago. Uh-huh. Didn't... Jackie have like a one woman band? Yeah. Transworld older give them hell. Twox? Yeah. It's actually really great. She's got a great scream. I'm sold. Twox? Hey, B, say it. Say twox. 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 Anyway, this is a party. I forgot to do the <laughs> B voice again. And Jackie, invi and Jackie invited me. Look at you, all going to secret parties and shit. They're not secret, May. Well, I wasn't invited. Okay, I invite you. You are now invited. Woohoo! Okay, we got like a 90 minute drive ahead, so 
Jeez, this better be some party. Jackie parties are worth the trip. I think I went here once in Girl Scouts to see some sort of longest night play. Yeah, I was there. Oh yeah, we were kind of stuck together back then. Why did you start talking to me? I was new in town and you seemed cool. That's it? You were smart and fun. What am I now? You know, fun. <laughs> it's like super shitty that you keep saying I'm not smart. I'm sorry, I'm mostly kidding. Mostly. You're not smart either. I was valedictorian of your class. Our class, sorry. Like that means anything in the real world. Sorry. Sorry. All right, let's go. I'm kind of nervous about this. Stay close, all right? Nothing to be scared of down there, just a party. Not too late to throw us into traffic instead. Hey, Jackie. Hey, B. Oh, weird, it's May. Hey, Jackie. You brought May. Yeah, is that okay? Sure, it'll be fun. Come on in, it's a good one. Is there like dancing and stuff? The world is ending, May. Of course there's dancing. Cool. Okay. That's why you're gonna take it seriously. Put your foot down. No fascists at this party. Right. You don't talk this shit out. You punch that shit out. Do you think that's best? Uh, yeah. Carry a knife and learn to throw a punch. We can't have no sense of humor about this shit. Mace works too. Mace against fascists. Hey. Hey, this is May. Hey, May. Yep, that's May. So where are you guys from? Suburban Bright Harbor? Couple of born and bred harbor rats. Wow, what are you doing out here? Long story for both of us. I got time. Hold up, we're gonna go yell at the DJ real quick. We know him, he's a total dink. Okay, I'll be here. Bye, boys. They seem nice. This is very cool. No drinking, May. Okay, fine. You guys wanna dance? Yeah. Can you dance, May? Can like anyone here dance? <laughs> oh my god, I love me dancing so much. She's just vibing. Oh, wait, I can do all these things. Hey, I think those guys are back over there. Oh yeah, should we go talk to them? Yeah, we should. I can dance, I never knew. I'm gonna keep dancing. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I don't think I've ever danced at a party before. Okay, well, we'll be like 10 feet away with, with an eye shot and I'll watch you. Don't drink anything someone gives you. B, I know. No, seriously, if any, B, I'll be fine. Let's go, she'll be fine. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Love it. I love her. She's such an idiot, but I love her.
Dancing is easy. What's the bit first? Hey you. Hey you. Do I know you? Nope. What's your name? May Borofsky. Borofsky. Nice. Sounds so tough. I'm extremely tough. I'll wrestle anyone. Wow. So what's your story, May Borofsky? I'm a college dropout. A ghost is chasing me and I recently met God. I've had these dreams that I'm not sure what dreams. Where I was running around jumble bits of like history or something. Like it was all a hairball stuck in the shower drain. And yeah, there's a ghost. And I'm pretty sure it like kidnapped someone on Halloween. Pretty sure I didn't imagine that. And my friends don't completely buy it. And I have this thing going on in my head. And I dropped out of college and I don't even want to get into that. And all I wanted to do was come home and for things to be normal. And that's not really working out. And I found out tonight I can dance and then I saw you. I've never just l listed all of that out at once before. Wow. I stole your life story, I guess. Hey, give me your hand. Oh, all right. No. Oh, wow. Secret handshake. Wow. It worked. Wow, okay. Okay, I should go find my friend. Oh, now I'm over here. That's a good idea. Borofsky. It's a good name. Sounds tough. Mm, okay. Need to tell friend location. I'll be here. Be right back. Right, but I, I want to talk to the girl. Psst. Hey there. The wise kitten focuses not on that which is lost, but on all that remains. Okay, wow. You're just hanging out in the back of the party. Does she got wisdom? That's what I do at a party. All right, well, I'll keep that in mind. Have a good one. I love the soundtrack. Hey, B. Oh, hey, mate. This is Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey. Your friend B is pretty cool. Oh, she's okay. Did she tell you we saw a skeleton last night? Whoa. Yeah. Like Memento Mori and shit. Yeah, yeah, sick transit glory, you nerd. You're laughing a lot. Beatrice. That's like an old name. Like a book you read in second grade. Well, a book you liked? Oh my god, please leave her alone. She's trying to flirt. I like ghost stories. My granddad died. <laughs> they left me an apple crate full. Sorry about your granddad. It's okay, it was years ago. Bea's mum is dead too. May, May, stop. I'm sure everyone here knows someone who died. My dog died last spring when my house exploded because there was a gas leak from when my dad hit a line trying to dig up the dog we had before that because we were going to move and dad said he had to come with us. Wow. So Chris, what are you majoring in? But uh, political science. Oh, that's cool. Are there a lot of jobs in that? Oh, I don't know. I just find it interesting. Like you have to be pretty materialistic to go to college just so you can get a job after. <laughs> oh my god. That's interesting because, whoa, whoa. Check out rich kid over here. I'm gonna pay zillions of dollars to go to college just because something's interesting. B, B, check this dude out. You ever worked a day in your life, Chess? I interned at my uncle's firm, yes. Well, I bagged groceries. Okay. May, do you want to dance some more? Yeah. You should go dance. Yeah, my parents own their own business, so... Ooh, tell me about it. I know a bit about running a small business. Wanna go across the street and get some pizza? I can eat. And it's a small business. 
You'll speak their language. Get us free slices. B doesn't like spoiled rich kids, Chuck. I'll come along and that's okay, B. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Oh my god, uh, I hate her. Hey, Cody, let me tell you about Beatrice Santello. She's super on top of things, super smart and responsible. She runs like the biggest store in Possum Springs. May know. What even is Possum Springs? It's west in the mountains. Well, a rich kid over here is studying politicians, politicians or whatever. But he's out here in the real world. Not like you college kids. May. What? <laughs> I'm kind of over the whole college thing myself. Me and I basically run Possum Springs. Except there's like a ghost or something. You two live in Possum Springs? Yeah, got a problem with that? Wow, we drove all the way here from Deep Hollow County? Isn't it like two hours away? No, I um. Why would you do that? Hey Rick, B here drove in from Deep Hollow. Are you not a student? Yeah. What? May shut the fuck up. Yeah, I am. I'm... Oh no! <laughs> B, wait! Oh, fuck's sake. What was that about? I think she doesn't go here. So? Dude, I don't even know. God, may I hate you. What did you do? I was gonna ask the same thing. How in the world did you mess that up? She needs this. Now she's God knows where. If something happens to her, I will personally punch your teeth out. Okay, jeez. All right, I'm gonna go up the street. You go down towards the river. We find her, make sure she's okay, and meet back here. Okay, oh God, okay. Back in school, I always told B you were an asshole, when I really thought that was true. And it's good to know I was right. She's just... The roofs. Can get to the river quick on the roofs. Hey, move. What? Move it, goth dorks. No. I need to get up on the roof. You are not jumping on my car. I will end you right here in this pitch place parking lot. You cool down. You F off. Don't tell me to F off. Don't tell me to cool down. Get away from my damn car. If you don't get away from your damn car, I'm gonna run it over your damn head. Can you even drive? Wanna find out, citizen? I'm gonna call the cops. If you don't move right now, I'm going to probably make you eat this entire car and I can do it. I'd like to see you try. The last person I hurt physically I hurt him very, very badly. Physically. Seriously, I'm about to... You're about to what? You know what? I don't have time for this. No, you don't. Move. Hope you break your spine. <laughs> She's like me when I'm drunk and angry. Wait. Starting to look a lot like my dreams. B, there you are. Are you alright? Why did you run? That's like extremely dangerous. You're alone in some college town and you don't even know. This was my party. 
these are my parties I come to these so I can feel normal for like two hours a month you could have been like mugged or something all of us some idiot guy college is stupid anyway oh my god you complete asshole you will never understand this ever you know what I do when I go to sleep this is so freaking sad I think like obsessively about going to college like really really think about it and if I'm lucky as I fall asleep I dream about it I have to dream about this this thing you're so over already is like my wildest fantasy you have a life no I don't I have obligations I have a routine when my mum died my life ended too I had to take over the business because dad had a complete breakdown and the bills from my mum literally dying were so bad that we lost the house. The house I grew up in, gone. Some shitty family with their shitty kids live there now. Now we live in an apartment as my dad wastes away, wastes away. And like any idea I had of the future, this big bright thing just gets smaller and darker every time I wake up from a dream about nights like tonight and you can't get that through your thick effing skull. I had no idea about any of this. That's not true, mate. Just fucking listen. How? How could you not know this? I work hard, and I take care of what's left of my family, and my life is slipping away, and I'm trapped in that stupid hardware store, in that stupid town. I'm just doomed. You're not the only person stuck here, you know? Shut- May, shut the fuck up! You gave up the thing I can't have. I kinda hate you. I can't not hate you for that, a little. You don't know why I had to leave? Oh, I'm sure it's a brilliant reason. You just sit there judging me. Have you ever even asked why I left? Yeah, first day you were back. Oh, right. So why did you leave? I... I don't know. My head is in pieces right now. Any answer I could give you would sound nuts. Oh. Well, that's illuminating. Oh, shut up. All this shit going on this past week. Ghosts and shit. I met God. He was an asshole. Uh-huh. Ugh. Look. We're both trapped. But we're trapped together. Better to be trapped with someone else, right? Listen, I'm sorry about, like, it's okay. We're like the best available friends. Oh God. What river is this? Red winder. All the iron in the water turns to rocks orange. Must be weird for them. All the rocks on land get to keep their colors and the river rocks are always looking up at them. Hmm. So like, actual question. Do you think we'd be friends if we weren't like stuck together in the same town? Like we were stuck together in Girl Scouts? Like, um, is this just what's the word? Proximity? Yeah. I don't know. I honestly don't. My entire life feels like running after something that keeps moving away into the distance while I stay in the same place. And I guess proximity counts for a lot right now. Hmm. Proximity. Stuck in a basement together, again. This crazy old basement we call life, Beatrice. <laughs> Thanks, that's uplifting. Do you want to go back to the party? Nah. We can come to another one sometime. I'll learn to talk good to whatever guy you're obviously trying to get with. Oh good, thanks. But you should have told me about everything. I was embarrassed. My entire life is embarrassing. B, I'm like more embarrassing than you will ever be. You're like stronger and smarter than anyone I've ever met. Thanks. And you're not as big a total idiot as I act like you are. I'm a jerk sometimes, I know that. But you're a generally good person. No, she's like insanely selfish, first of all. You know what the false Lucene fish fountain would say? What? Beatrice Santello, we should get burgers and shakes on the way home. Oh wow, a revelation from God. The good God, the fake one. 
crap, I didn't get her info. Who? Oh, it was a girl. I thought it was a boy. Ah. Apologies. The super cute girl I met at the party. We did a secret handshake. Is that a euphemism? Crap. Yeah, we need to come back. Okay, you. Let's go home. Home again. Home again. I don't know if that was supposed to be sung or something. Father. Hi. Hello. Oh, wow. Are you okay? No. I hate myself because I'm a bad friend. Okay. So what's going on? I don't think I can talk about it. You're going to have to start talking sometime, kitten. I wish I could. Why can't you? Where do you even start? It's just... I've been having these dreams and I keep thinking I see a ghost. A ghost? I've had these horrible nightmares that feel really real and I think something really bad is going to happen. I've been running around doing all of this stupid stuff and where's it all going? What even is my life right now? I think I patched up some stuff tonight, but like, everyone is on their way somewhere else. And I had that big fight with mum. Kitten, it's okay. And, 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 shh, kitten, take a breath. Okay, okay, okay. Why don't you get some sleep? Can I just stay down here for a bit? As long as you like. Night, Dad. <laughs> hey, you. Hey, me. I am so tired from tonight. I bet. Did you run all the way to the river? Yeah, on the roofs and stuff. That and dancing really takes it out of you. That's like really, that's really nice, mate, that you did that. Oh, it was, it wasn't nothing. Go get some sleep. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for running after me. Oh, I never get away. You'll never get rid of me. I, I can think of worse fates. I, uh, B is so much more patient than I am because I would have stopped talking to this girl. Hey kids, went to a party, danced at a party, ran around in the rain, met a hot girl, totally didn't get her number, she's a bombshell though. Wow, sounds like an awesome night. It was a mixed bag, but all in all, I'd party again. We need to do more parties. You are very right. Alright, I'm off to bed. Laters. <laughs> Bed time? Yes. Can't wait to meet God again. Oh, <laughs> we didn't get to meet God this time. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.